dangerously cold temperatures blamed for at least nine deaths have wreaked havoc across a wide swath of the U.S., freezing a water tower in Iowa, halting ferry service in New York and leading officials to open warming centers even in the Deep South. The National Weather Service issued wind chill advisories and freeze warnings Tuesday covering a vast area from South Texas to Canada and from Montana through New England. Indianapolis early Tuesday tied a record low of minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit for January. Two set in 1887, leading Indianapolis public schools to cancel classes. And the northwest Indiana city of Lafayette got down to minus 19, shattering the previous record of minus 5 for the date, set in 1979, the National Weather Service said. After residents there began complaining of a hum, Duke Energy said it was caused by extra power surging through utility lines to meet electricity demands. The temperatures are certainly extreme, but we've seen colder, said Joseph Neald, a meteorologist in Indianapolis, noting that the all-time low temperature in Indiana was minus 36 in 1994. Nevertheless, the cold is nothing to trifle with, forecasters warned. With Chicago area wind chills expected between minus 35 and minus 20 degrees, forecasters warned of frostbite and hypothermia risks and urged residents to take precautions, including dressing in layers, wearing a hat and gloves, covering exposed skin and bringing pets indoors. In Tennessee, corrections officials at a maximum security prison were using portable heaters and extra blankets to keep inmates and employees warm. The facility lost hot water pressure Monday, causing its boiler to go offline. A spokeswoman didn't provide a timeline for its return. Consuming more calories than you're burning will help your body better handle the cold. January.2, 2018, sign up for our free video newsletter here http://2n6vkpr. Consuming more calories than you're burning will help your body better handle the cold. January.2, 2018, sign up for our free video newsletter here http://2n6vkpr. Atlanta hospitals were seeing a surge in emergency room visits for hypothermia and other ailments as temperatures plunge well below freezing. The temperature in Atlanta fell to 13 degrees before dawn in Tuesday. We have a group of patients who are coming in off the street who are looking to escape the cold. We have dozens and dozens of those every day, said Drive. Brooks Moore, Associate Medical Director in the Emergency Department of Grady Health System, which operates Georgia's largest hospital in Atlanta. The cold is blamed in at least nine deaths in the past week. Police in St. Louis said a homeless man found dead inside a trash bin Monday evening apparently froze to death as the temperature dropped to negative 6 degrees. Sheriff's officials in Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin, said a 27-year-old woman whose body was found Monday evening on the shore of Lake Winnebago likely died of exposure. The Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office said two men whose bodies were found Sunday showed signs of hypothermia. Police believe the cold weather also may have been a factor in the death of a man in Bismarck, North Dakota, whose body was found near a river.